Okay. All right, cool. So, um, 11.03, Zuckerberg Hospital. Ryan, make sure you're there. And, uh, yeah, okay. Can you guys hear me from the cup holder like this? We can see the screen. Okay. All right, here we go. Whoa. Right off the top, the way it started. Extremely smooth. Extremely confident. Just went. The other version would like wait. Okay, very smooth first left turn. Slowing down a little bit. It thinks the speed limit's 10 and it's going 15, which is about appropriate. Wow. Yeah. This is looking good in the first few seconds. I think this could be the one. All right, we're waiting here at the traffic light. Nice takeoff as soon as the light turned green. Slowing down a little bit as it passes some of the other cars. Really smooth, really comfortable, really human-like. I think after the Starship second flight test, we were wondering which would happen first, if V-12 would be released or if Starship would fly again. So I think we have our answer. Both on the same day, I think. Okay, really smooth there. There were pedestrians walking on the left side. Then it had to wait for someone to pass because we didn't have a left turn arrow and then it just made the left turn. Like, fucking perfect. Couldn't have done it better myself, to be honest. Yeah, I think this is, uh... the version we've been dreaming of. Don't jinx it. Not yet, anyway. Well, I'm just saying based on the first minute. Obviously anything can happen in the other 11 minutes. But it just feels... You know, right away it's addressing my big frustration with 12.2, which was really my only complaint. Which was the hesitation, the driving like grandma. This isn't driving like grandma, it's driving like a human. And I believe this is in the assertive profile, let me check. Yeah, this is in the assertive profile. Okay, we're here at a crosswalk. In the other version, it would probably hesitate at that crosswalk. Here, it uh, proceeded through, there was nobody there, which is good. In the lane change there, it did sort of a double take where it kind of moved back and then completed the lane change. But it did it in such a smooth way. Not the way 11 or the old autopilot would sort of abort a lane change and it would just feel like you're just jerking back. Okay, again, we got a crosswalk with flashing lights, but it passed through just like a human would. No excessive reduction of the speed. All right, here we've got a guy on a scooter. All right, they passed. Now we're making a right turn onto Goff Street. 2.3 miles away, the light is red and it's creeping. The light's now green, it's completing the right turn. Quick lane change after the right turn because somebody was parking in the far right lane. Very smooth, very natural, just like a human would do it. Now we're stopped at a red light, we got some pedestrians crossing, some cyclists. I think people are going to be blown away by version 12. I'm ready to be blown away by version 12. Have you not tried it yet, Ryan? Yeah, that's uh, why I'm so enthusiastic. I mean, obviously, it sounds like I should be enthusiastic about 12.3, but I have not tried version 12 at all yet. Well, it would be great to get your first impressions. Yeah, I mean, I've definitely been more critical of the, in, in the past, and when they switched to the neural net direction, I was pretty enthusiastic about it. Like, just conceptually, it sounds yeah. like the right approach, but I'm really excited to see and, you know, share my feedback uh, as well. But I'm, I'm 
I'm hearing good things based on what you're saying, but also I've heard a lot of good things based on what you're saying. I want to yeah. it for myself. Yeah, so it'll be interesting to see what you say since you haven't been as much of a fan as I have. Um, so we'll get Ryan's thoughts. This is the nice thing about all living here in San Francisco is I can just go pick Ryan up. I was go I was taking delivery of my cyber truck. I called him, I'm like, hey, you wanna come? He's like, alright. Alright, so we're making I was, we're making I was really excited to like take pictures of you, just like, you know, really enjoy the moment and we arrived and you're like, Okay, let's go. I was like, uh, you don't <laughs> want like more pictures? <laughs> For me, enjoying the moment is just being there and not taking any pictures and just absorbing it myself. Which is so funny because I'm so used to you sharing so much online <laughs> uh, of your life, of your Tesla experience. I thought for sure that's what you would want. <laughs> I misread it. Yeah, I mean, um, you know, I didn't really care about spending that much time at the delivery center. I just kind of wanted to go. But, yeah, I mean, I don't, I don't think you misread it that much. It probably would have been smart to take some videos and make some YouTube content, but uh, I guess I'm not that smart. So I just wanted to save right. I mean, it's not every day you get to take delivery of a cyber truck, and you know, foundation oh, series at that. Unless you order 53 of them, then it becomes right. every week. Unless, unless you're like Ryan and you ordered 53 of them. Um, and, you know, I think it's funny. Um, you ordered 53, you were thinking, okay, we're going to put FSD on them. Here we are and there's no basic autopilot. Yep, yep. But hopefully that changes soon. All right, so far we're doing good. No takeovers, no interventions yet. No accelerator presses. We're uh, crossing Van Ness, and then we're going to be driving right by X headquarters. So, shout out to X. We're streaming this on X with X spaces, and we're driving by the X offices while doing it. Yeah, this is kind of a complicated intersection here. We have to cross Market Street. You can see X headquarters there. That's where the Twitter logo used to be. All right, we're crossing Market Street. Um, my, my worst ride in a cruise was at that intersection where there was some <laughs> construction specifically in front of the, the NEMA there right next to X headquarters. <laughs> and the, uh, the autonomous cruise just stopped and then like jolted forward and there was like a train coming and- Oh, oh God. That was the worst ever I'd ever experienced. It was right there, so it'd be cool to see that it's going through that. Yeah, cruise was an adventure. It would do something sketchy on pretty much any ride, but you know, I was I just loved it because it was the first time I'd ever taken a driverless ride in San Francisco. So they'll always have a place in my heart for that, but um, they may be launched a little early. Yeah, and just like contextually too, I mean, anytime that you got in one, you couldn't see what it saw, like versus Tesla, we're able to see kind of right. you know, the, the mind's eye of the car, and same with uh, Waymo, Waymo is actually pretty good out here, as you've experienced it, but um, yeah, no, it was, it was weird getting into something that didn't show you anything, and then when it acted erratically, it was not just weird, it was concerning. Yeah, I've moved 100% over to Waymo from Uber for all my rides that uh, support it. So anything within San Francisco, and it basically can do anything, any time of day, any weather, driverless, doesn't make any mistakes. So I think people yeah. don't realize how far ahead the state of self-driving actually is in this year of 2024. And, and I don't know, I didn't actually read the press release, but it sounds like Waymo got approval to go down the peninsula. Yeah. And you know, for me, for me, especially with my car sharing business, uh, it'll be nice when they open up so I can take it to SFO. That's gonna, you know, in a way, change the game, especially if the cost comes down. Um, I mean, uh, you know, I'm glad that you're using Waymo mostly. That's cool. Uh, for me, it's like the yeah. cost. It's it is expensive. Higher. It's really expensive. Yeah, obviously the promise is it'll be lower, but right now. Yeah. All right, are you at the Zuckerberg Hospital? I'm waiting at the uh, north, let's see, northeast corner, yeah. All right, I'm four minutes away.
so far zero intervention zero takeovers not too many challenges just your normal san francisco stuff not a lot of traffic here but uh yeah it's looking like it's gonna be uh probably a pretty good drive Omar, you remember the olden days when we got autopilot updates and you felt like it was a little jerky and regressive and all that kind of thing in the beginning, like the first day or the first hour? Has that changed with V12 updates, like from 12.1 to 2 to 3? Or was that V12 that changed that? Or, or it just doesn't exist? V12 doesn't do that anymore. Oh, okay. Um, I don't even remember what it was specifically that caused it but it always felt like as soon as you installed it it would just be like really weird and then it would settle out yeah v12 doesn't seem to do that as much yet but you know we'll see um hey you know i don't think i've been nagged actually but that's probably because of you know some stuff that i did but um they had disabled that. It wasn't, you know, I was having the nag before. And they told me they were going to roll it back. So maybe they actually finally did roll it back. Which is really fucking exciting for me. And maybe, you know, speaks to their confidence. I think this is the one that's going to go wide. So they basically had disabled dismissing the, snack, the nag via the scroll wheels. But it looks like now you can do that again in this version. Which kind of suggests they're maybe going to go wide with it because those sort of temporary, you know, they said we're temporarily turning the nag to 11 because of uh, the fact that this build is new. So that maybe that speaks to their confidence. Also, right? That was in 12.1 and 12.2. Oh, Man. even 12.1 had a bad nag? Yeah. Okay. The nag was turned to 11 in their words. Now it right. seems to be back to normal. So I, I think this is, you know, probably a sign that it's going to be released more widely. Okay, we're moving along now. I, I, I don't have one complaint about this drive. I have no notes. Okay. Wow. And, you know, I'm recording the video here with the GoPro so you guys can see the full video for yourself if you want to nitpick. Okay, we've got a... Uh, yield on green, so we don't have a left turn arrow. There's cars coming, there's a Waymo coming, and there's a Tesla following that Waymo, and the car is starting to move its wheel, and it turned. Just fucking beautiful. Wow. Wait till you guys see this. And then there's a guy on the one wheel who's like cutting you off at the oh. crosswalk. Yeah, Ryan's in the video too now. Oh my god, we almost ran you over. What are you doing? <laughs> You're like trying to you're trying to ruin my perfect drive. Get out of the way. I'm glad I didn't. <laughs> well, that's good. You made it more interesting. And now we're pulling into a parking lot. How does it look pulling into that parking lot? It looks very smooth. I mean, also, also your ultra red looks really good, but yeah. I know the ultra red is so sexy, isn't it? Yeah, you're in the middle of the lane as you should be. Yeah, I'm half jealous. I'm sure I got that. So I'm pretty sure we can see you in the side camera, right? <laughs> On the other side. Oh, you could tell I was going the wrong way. Okay, do you, do you need to put the one wheel in the trunk or something? Uh, I mean, you tell me where you want it. I can put it in the front trunk. Is okay. The best places for it. Okay. You can, put gonna, in, you can put it in I'm the gonna, front if it fits. Yeah, I'm going to take myself off here. Hey. Hey, how's it going? Did you bring the USB-C cable? Oh yeah, it's in my pocket. 